Now let us look at what is the problem with the first come first search scheduling algorithm. Assume these are the processes. This is the arrival time. This is the burst time. Okay. So processes are uh, P1, P2, P3. Arrival time is 0, 1, 2. And the burst time is uh, assume 2, 3 and 30. Right. So you now let us find what is the completion time, what is the turnaround time and then what is the average waiting time, what is the average waiting time. Okay, so the first process is process P1. Process P1 arrived at time 0, so we are going to schedule it again. So it will be there in the CPU, it will execute in the CPU for 2 minutes of time. Then process P2 arrived, so we will give CPU to the process P2 and it will execute for 3 units of time. So it will be there for 5 uh, minutes, uh, it finished at uh, 5 minutes of time. Then process P3 came and process P3 required 30 units of time, so it will finish at 35. So completion time of process P, P, P1 is 2, Pro completion time of process P2 is 5, the completion time of process P3 is 35. Then what is the turnaround time? Turnaround time is 2 minus 2 which is 0. Uh, sorry, uh, turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time. So 2 minus 0 is 2, 5 minus 1 is 4 and 35 minus 2 is 33. Then what is the average waiting time? Waiting time is turnaround time minus the burst time. So it is 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, 33 minus 3, 30 is so if we add it all so it will be 4 so average waiting time is 4 divided by 3 because we were having 3 processes so it is uh, 1 point uh, 3, 3, 3 something so it is 1.33 okay now let us look at instead of having this problem if we formulate the problem in the same problem in uh, some other fashion for example we have like this this is the process ID this is the arrival time, this is the burst time, again this is the completion time, this is turnaround time, this is waiting time, assume the process ID are again P1, P2, P3, arrival time is 0, 1, 2, the burst time is 30, 3 and 2. The only difference which I created here is, here in the case, in this case, the process P3 is having the highest burst time, uh, which is 30. And here in this case, the process P1 is having the highest burst time, which is 30. Right. And the process P2 is again the same and process P3 has the burst time, which is 2. Right. Now, in this case, let us try to create the Gantt chart. At time 0, only one process is available to execute. So, we are going to execute the process P1 and it is going to require 30 units of time. Then we will execute the process P2. So process P2 will execute till 33 units of time. Then we will execute the process P3. So process P3 will execute till 35 units of time. Till 35 units of time. Then what is the completion time of process P1? So process P1 completed time 30. The process P2 completed at, at time 33. And the process P3 completed at time 35. So turnaround time is 30 minus 0 is 30, 33 minus 1 is 32 and 35 minus 2 is 33 and waiting time is 30 minus 30 is 0 and 32 minus 33 is 29 and uh, 33 minus 2 is 31. So in total the waiting time is 60. We have three processes. So average waiting time is around 20 units. So average waiting time is around 20 minutes. Now see the only difference here was here in this case the process which is having the highest burst time came first and here in this case the process which is having the high, lowest burst time came in the beginning. So in this this is this kind of effect is also called as convoy effect. This kind of effect is also called as convoy effect. So what is the convoy effect? If you if you been to I think uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, then what happens is in case of um, uh, during winters, uh, because of snow snowfall and so on. So what happens is uh, during in a, uh, a one day, there's one convoy which is coming from J and K to uh, uh, Srinagar to Jammu, and again uh, during uh, a one day, one con convoy will go from 
जम्मू टू श्रीनगर सो कॉन्वॉय मीन्स दैट लॉट ऑफ व्हीकल्स और लॉट ऑफ कार्स दे आर ट्रैवलिंग एट द सेम टाइम कॉन्वॉय इज लाइक अ ग्रुप ऑफ देम राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी if you have if imagine this kind of scenario assume this is a road this is a road and we have vehicles like we have bus this is a bus we have a car we have a car we have a bicycle a motorbike assume this is a motorbike and this is this is a scenario right so now if for example we are traveling in this direction and bus is the slowest of all and then we have a car and then we have a bike now assume these vehicle cannot cross each other that means they cannot you know uh, they cannot pass each other they only have to follow the other one if the slowest vehicle here is a bus so everyone has to adjust with the speed of the bus but in instead of this if for example the fastest vehicle is bike so bike is traveling then car is there then we have bus is there right if they are traveling in this fashion then the car do not have to wait for the speed of bus in the same way same way if the fastest vehicle in the beginning then it will uh, reach to the destination first then the car will reach then the bus will reach here what will happen first the bus will reach then the car will reach then the bike will reach because they cannot pass each other right so the, the main aim uh, of showing this diagram is if you have a higher process a process with a very huge burst time then obviously to finish the uh, the complete task it is going to take a lot of time and for for that complete time the other processes with a smaller burst time they has to wait they have to wait now if they have to wait obviously their waiting time will increase so in case of first come first serve this kind of effect is called as convoy effect it means the processes with the higher burst time because of those processes those processes are affecting the process with the lower burst time and because they are having a lower burst time they have to wait for longer duration of time so obviously the throughput of the system will go down and we can remove this problem by finishing or we can say by executing the processes which are having lower burst time before any other process which is having the higher burst time so we are going to if if that is that is a solution to this problem is execute the processes with a lower burst time before or we can say execute the jobs which are shorter before the jobs which are longer so which introduces our new algorithm which uh, improved the problem of the first come first serve algorithm which is called as the shortest job first or you can say sjf algorithm okay now let us look at what is the shortest job first algorithm